Hey, everybody. Welcome to This is Turfgrass. Bruce Jump here with you. Glad to be back. Today, we're going to be talking about six summer tips that are essential for turf grass seeding and turf grass care. Let's get right to it. Here we go. When to seed. Anytime we can put down turf seed from spring until fall, typically that late summer period like August, late July through Labor Day weekend is the ideal. Soil temperatures are warm. We got a nice 60 to 80 day period in this in the fall where the temperatures are going to be cool. So we got warm soil. We got cool air temperatures typically have moisture in the fall. That's why it's just ideal time to seed. Can we see it in the springtime? Of course we can. Temperatures when soil temperatures are above, you know, that 55 to 60 degree mark, that's a great time to seed. We can even seed in the summertime. You got to be a little careful with moisture. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Make sure those young little seedlings have adequate moisture so they can they can make it through those hot summer months. So that's the time to seed. Ideally, that late summer early fall, Labor Day weekend, right prior to that. Uh, but you can see it any time from late spring through the summer to the early fall. Next, overseeding. If we're going to be doing overseeding, now it's a great time to do that. Uh, the key for overseeding is seed soil contact. We got to get seed touching the soil. How do we do that? We cultivate. When we think about cultivating, we typically think about agriculture and farmers with a plow and a disc. The same concept is happening with turf grass, but we're not using a plow and a disc or a, or a, a rototiller. What we're using typically are aerifiers, hollow tine plug aerifiers that pull soil out of the turf. You can use a verticutter. You can use a slicer. You can use a dethatcher. It's some mechanical device to scarify, move soil from underground to the surface so we have something for that seed to hang on to. So seed soil contact is essential when it comes to overseeding. Next is mowing new turf, whether it's a brand new uh, lawn uh, planted on bare soil or overseeding when those new seedlings are growing, follow the one-third rule. It's been around for years what is the one-third rule? If your target mowing height is three inches and your grass grows an additional one inch during the week, one inch divided by three inches is one-third. So it's time to mow. We don't want to do the one-half rule where your turf grass height is three inches, your new uh, grass for the week is growing another three inches, and we cut three inches off. It does so many negative things with the turf grass plant. It leaves clippings on top of the soil. So watch your mowing frequency. I know, and I'm I'm guilty of this too. I like to mow like Friday or Saturday morning so the lawn's looking great for the weekend. And we get into like a weekly schedule. Sometimes that's not enough when the grass is actively growing. Sometimes it might be too much if the grass is more slowly growing. So make sure you follow the one-third rule. Next, watering new turf. New seedlings do not have deep roots, so the key for watering new turf is light, frequent watering. The, all we care about on the new seedlings is those roots and root hairs get enough moisture to get them uh, established and get them growing. Once the seed is established, then we move to a more deep and infrequent uh, watering cycle. So remember, on new seedlings, it's light and frequent, and not all seed germinates on the same day. Sometimes, like with our Artemis and some of our Calypsos and Poseidon blends of seed, you'll see seed germinating in three to four, maybe five days. There's a lot of seed that still has to germinate, so keep that in mind. Not all seed germinates the same day, so don't stop watering once you see those early seedlings start coming through. So light frequent when it's new, deep infrequent when your turf is established. Next, one of my favorite topics, controlling weeds. If we're seeding in the late spring or in the summertime, we're going to have summer weeds, whether it's overseeding or whether it's a new seeding from bare soil. We're going to have summer weeds. So those summer weeds, for the most part, are summer annual weeds, meaning they have a one-year life cycle. At the first sign of frost, those weeds are going to die off. 
here in Indiana. We have the trinity of summer grassy weeds, crabgrass, foxtail, barnyard grass, and they can be a real problem. Just remember, keep your focus on the turf grass that you've seeded. Keep your focus on what's most important. You'll see these summer annual weeds coming in. Keep them mowed down, and at the first sign of frost, they're going to die out. Then you can do some fertility in the fall and get that the permanent perennial turf grass is established. It's a great time to uh, do that. Don't lose your focus. Focusing on all these summer annual weeds, keep them mowed and focus on the turf grass that you're growing. Perennial weeds uh, can be a problem. Things like Canada thistle, uh, especially, you know, some um, um, perennial grassy weeds, uh, some old bent grass in your lawn or something. Uh, those really should be taken care of with a non-selective herbicide before uh, your seeding because they're, they're, they're really difficult to control. Quack grass is another one. Uh, it has, has like underground rhizomes. Control those with a non-selective uh, herbicide before the time of seeding. Storing seed. Remember, the key here is cool and dry. We don't want to have seed laying on a concrete you know, basement or a concrete garage floor where moisture can seep in. Moisture and living seeds that combination is not good. They'll start to germinate. So keep them dry, typically on a pallet or on a shelf or on a rack. Um, cool. Uh, seed is dormant as a, a seed in a bag of seed. Uh, so we want to keep it in a cool place. Hot, where it gets to be 95 or 100, like in, in an attic, would not be a good place. So remember, cool, dry. And most seed has a tag date. Somewhere 12 months, some of them, some states go a little longer, up to 18 months, but typically one year. Uh, seed's good for a year. I know it can germinate after one year, but think about one year as far as storing seed before you, you want to buy new seed. Those are six summer tips for starting seed, overseeding, establishing uh, seed, controlling weeds. You can always follow us at This is Turfgrass on YouTube and on Facebook. Remember Heritage Professional Products Group on the platforms that you see here. We hope to see you next time. Bruce Jump, this is Turfgrass. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Just wanted to tell you about our discount that we've got coming up on our flash sale. May 27th and 28th, you can take $15 off every bag of turf seed that you buy from our Zero Zero collection. That's Artemis, Calypso, and Poseidon 25 or 50 pound bags. You can also add this on top of any volume discounts that are already existing. Use code HERO15, May 27th and 28th at heritagepg.com. Thank you so much. My name is Tyler, and this is Turfgrass.